Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to episode 450. Let's play the game of Elix 2 as we teleport and load up and deal with fudging rat. Hi, uh, rat. I can't believe I'm talking to you, but the game doesn't need to. Hopefully, I get to kill you. Victor attacked me, and I'm going to do stun him. Hopefully, I get to kill you. Mayhem and chaos seem to follow you wherever you go, don't mm -hmm. they? Also you? I suppose so. I'm getting used to it. Like this berserker armor we both wear, even though we both started out on such different paths? Something yeah, you don't like that. your armor, I do. The fort is still standing. I feel I should thank you for that. You don't say. I would hate to lose my position here. <laughs> you know what we have to do now. It's time to strengthen the world hearts. To turn Magalon into the glorious creation we know it can be. I don't actually know much about this sort of thing. I keep seeing these mana misfits. They're right at our gates and starting to annoy me. I'm a patient guy, but there's a limit. You're not patient. What happened up there in Marakor? It's pretty incredible if you ask me. Never seen anything like it. That was it. Wow, he actually congratulated me and did really insult me. That's not special than that. I didn't get to fight him. Actually, I wouldn't have got the fight, you know, only stunned him. Okay, is this everyone now? We're just back to the basin, so... I think it is. We're almost finished. So I know, like, the last game... Yeah, at the end they give you like, oh, Nasty and you did this, and Nasty and that did that. Hopefully it does something similar with this one once we've done this. Now that the main threat is contained, shouldn't we be dismantling the Sky End's technology? Ideally. Knock yourself out. Uh, okay, that was a little too fast for huh? me. What's the catch? Our people could make good use of this upgrade of the Sky End's transformers. Rebuilding the planet should be everyone's responsibility, Likely. not just the owls. Likely. Huh. Like that all. No one knows how to put things in order and back on track better than the owls. Well, sure. I'll get to work as soon as this stuff is done. I had no choice in what I said that then, so I don't understand why I made they not like me. That's not really fair. Uh, who's this? I'll touch you last. You and Nasty last. There's always something to do. Well, that's not really helped. Good talk. The last battle in this war is over. Congratulations. Thank you. You should be congratulating yourself. In spite of everything, you survived. Mm -hmm. If you'd died, Magalon would have lost a great defender. Thank you. I return the compliment. Thank you. But let's keep going. We have much to do. I will resume my duty in the Bastion. I will lead the Sixth Power into the future. Whatever that may be. Okay. The whole of Magalon. All of our lives. I made a promise. So game three, I'm assuming the Sixth Power will be a thing and he'll be in charge of it, not me. And for some reason, we're a different state of thing and I have to get his trust again. Even though all this, because I feel that's what base life will is too. Foxy. I just cannot figure you out sometimes. What? what? I mean, you just head right for the main former and start kicking mm -hmm. ass. Let's kick it. That is a bold move. I know. No one's trying that again anytime soon. Don't need to. I did it. Uh, you know, us berserkers, we're lucky to have you on our side. My work has just begun. I need everyone. More likely, this three will start to be neutral. <laughs> Yeah, you haven't been in Berserk in game. You say everyone, but you really mean me, don't you? Anyway, what I don't get is all the excitement about these mana freaks. Well, then again, they're still people, right? Some kind of humanity-ish stuff hidden deep down in there, right? I know I should care more about all this, about the world, but... Well, like my old man used to say, we live in interesting times, right? Mm-hmm, definitely. Okay, who's next? Hello. Whoa! It's going around, Tundra, we're getting stronger! 
27 woo. Uh, I'll need that nice 20. I want to do nasty lasting because because can't cage him last. Let's cage him again, fudge. Oh, look at the ass all done with. Come on, ass. You really went for it. Respect. Oh, thanks. You mean the main former? Expect you say that. I've seen worse places. You got strong nerves. What's next? We've got a lot to do to rebuild Magalon. What? Oh, now? Like that. I thought we were gonna pack this in and get the fuck out of here. Knock yourself out. Can't wait to see what's next. <laughs> He's walking off. That's true, whatever. You can go. Oh, what's this asshole doing in here? That was incredible, mm -hmm. Jack. Can I kill you now? You are so resolute. Definitely. You will meet and defeat this challenge. I know it. Is that supposed to make me feel better? Ha! Huh. You're right. It must be strange to hear coming from me. But the truth is, I really do feel. Proud. Why well, trust about multiple times? For fuck's sake. No, really. Back then at the Ice Palace, training you to be a commander, I misjudged you completely. You are not just strong of will, effective. You are not just merciless when it comes to your enemies and a great friend to your allies. You are special, a hero. Singularity, a seriously. Singularity. Seriously. A unique phenomenon. This planet will not see the likes of you again. Well, that like hint, the singularity it seems it is your me fate to help this world develop and bring out humanity's potential. Nobody else could have done this. Okay, I get it. Do you? I don't know why you're this way, or where it will lead us. But I know you are following your own path, and that every single one of us will have a part to play. Hmm. Yes. I am sure of okay, it, we're done. and I want to be there when the things that you have set in motion come to pass. You will be. Oh, yeah, okay. Uh, good. Then there's not much more to say. Just well done. Thank you, Jax. Okay. How many more people? Uh, Falk, and then the final two. And then I think we're done. Plus, we get pulled from one of a chip or something somewhere. Oh, come here. Observing your heroic deeds was extremely interesting. Well, it was for you. You really think I'm some kind of hero? You acted for the greater good. Hero is an appropriate term for a person who does this. Thank you. I achieved very little. Yeah, I just feel that way. Our world is about to fail. We're going to need real heroes in the coming years. I would gladly be of assistance. No assassinating them. I look forward to facing our future challenges. Whatever they may be. Okay. Okay, nasty then cage since she's the wife to her last. Okay. Oh yeah, and the conversation about Dax is gonna come up with that one in the disc. That's gonna be a hard one. Man, I can't believe the war is over. I was having fun. There's a lot more out of the fight. Shit! How do you always get away with it? What? Anyone else would have their guts spread across half of Magalon by now, but you? Lucky, I guess. So, what now? Hunt down what's left of the Skyans? Or, we could do something a little more productive. Do both? What you mean that? rebuild all this shit? No way! You can do that on your own. Big mutant fight would really hit the spot right now. Let's go. What? That's the final thing, Cajun. Then. <sighs> hey. You did it. We can cross the main mm -hmm. former off the list. Oh, Dex. How could you ever do uh, Dex. Well, you did join the Berserkers, which was a good first step. I think you want to. But... Count. I have to admit, I didn't think you'd actually manage to escape this time. What about Dex? 
This was just the start. We still have a whole plan. You're not going to mention about your song. I'm glad we're on the same page. Just look at all the terrible creatures oh Mana's created. Oh my gosh, created. he's not mentioned about Dex. They grow in numbers by and the she's day. she's not asking where he is. That might be the norm. She might think he's still in thing. Until we can restore the or balance. The Keep it up. We haven't finished yet. Oh, there we go. So technology advanced and homed millions. Then was a planet with a promising future. Then came the comment and Magellan civilization was destroyed. What? <laughs> Turned out to be Dr. Adam Charles Dawkins, also known as the hybrid, the central figure, the war between the Alps and the three people. Oh, is it going from Evil's One all the way through it now? A human was pulled out of the hybrid machine and brought back to life. Many wounded about, sorry, wondered about the real tension behind the apparent newfound concerns for humanity. The old man had extraordinary knowledge of the Skynet and seemed to almost admire their ambitions despite founding and supporting the Sixth Power. The father of Cassandra mission only really intended to use her to prolong his own life, placing his pursuit of immortality above the welfare of all mankind. Jack's family believed that he would see this traitor to humanity again, and he resolved to be fully ready for the on the equation, on the occasion, equation, on the occasion. Basically, we're seeing the game for a occasion. Strongest berserker mage and mother of Jack's son, a fearsome commander who led the troops on a crusade against her enemies, who didn't even mention her as for her son was just, and I didn't tell her apparently. Once the scourge of the Emnies, she became a beacon of hope, a warrior mage, a superhuman strength who used her skills for the good of all peoples. Standing with Jax, her great love, she drew upon her vulnerable magic power to help him achieve his goals. Highly talented Alp engineer, whenever uh, she stopped using Elix and gave her emotions free reign, she became extremely volatile and unpredictable. Okay. She was a very reliable partner, well trained and adapted at waging war against the people's enemies, in particular the free people. The thing you basically what was stay by my side. During her enforced leave, she had a lot of time to think about herself and her people. She began to doubt the motives of some of the Alps. Those doubts were to have a lasting effect on her destiny. She had to be convinced that it was right to fight against the Skyland alongside the other three people and to stay with the Rebels. I feel they should have voiced this. They voiced the whole game. Why not voice this? She buried her love for Jax deep inside herself, hiding it as she'd been taught to do by her own people. I barely knew her in game. <laughs> Once again, he caught it, caught the whirlwind of events that would culminate in a crucial turning point for my Glandis Jax. It's on the main character. It was with his support for the creative force of Maglan and the manor truly came into his own. The world was filled with an ever increasing abundance of life. Unfortunately, the, this that also meant the monsters created by the manor, grotesque beings as, uh, like the Florida and the Trolls multiplied and the heavy price, oh, too fast. Singularity, the cause of all the major events of recent years, could no longer be ignored. Soon it would formality change in Maglan forever. So I'm trying to talk fast to read it quick. The clock was ticking for Magmite and soon the world would be out of time. The combat drone was loyal to his master Jackson had served him for many years since his time as commander of the Alps. His program ensured that it was always anticultural, skeptical and even hostile towards strangers and gnolls from other factions. A small but highly effective combat robot that would immediately kill anyone who became hostile towards his master 100% loyal, the most faithful companion you could wish for. The crook was raised among the outlaws and believed in their goals. As a captain, he answered as to the duke who protected the crater. Oh, it was asshole. The duke of Artos uh, finally decided to take Bully out. It was a decision that would shatter Bully's world, view and loyalty to the duke. They're both assholes. He is not human, but a cyborg built in Igridon by a mad scientist as a prototype to help the clerics in their fight against the Alps. So the other guys just say that as well chat, basically. His ambitions to become human has suffered many sort of setbacks and taken him to some dark places, but ultimately he is a kind, polite, and simply trying to understand human behaviour. 
Tabo learned over a hundred ways of killing a human, because he did, but remained curious and friendly in his demeanor and un unpredictable combination. His inability to develop emotion made him incredibly dangerous, and his destruction side was revealed little by little. A traitor war darks and Jack's father disappeared without a trace after the war against the Alps. Some claimed he was dead while others swore they'd seen him. It turned out he was indeed still alive. Many believed that he would play an important role in the war against the Skylands. Sky, Sky Ads. His actions including in the war against the Alps were driven by the Elix addiction he could not face going cold turkey. Ultimately, the stubborn old man defied expectations and played a vital role in the war against the Skyads. After the former Duke of Taran was dethroned, he fled a bit to the ruins on the southern coast of Carax, and that's where me and Fingy uh, Nasty killed him. He reunited with his twin sister Nasty, was less heartwarming than might have been expected. Logan had nothing more than a weary smile to offer humanity in his war against the Skyads. He saved his real efforts for his own affairs, and now he's dead. In the end, Logan had was nothing more than food to the rats. He was a rogue nobody really missed. The twin sister of Logan, the former Duke of Tavan, an extremely violent and brutal woman prone to legendary mute swings. She represented the Morcons in diplomatic negations with the leaders of the other three people. It was turbulent time for her companion Jacks. In the end, even Jacks found himself on this dangerous woman's blacklist. Now, she only accepted that Jacks didn't want to be with her. She had a long list of crazy plans that she knew she could handle just as well and long. It's not true because I was with Game One and Game Two didn't. Well, I'll keep reading. A rat. A devious outlaw schemed and manipulated his way up to the rank of captain and later became governor of Berserker's Fort. I wanted to in game two, but it jumped to his wife instead. Rat's relationship with Jax was often strained, but to Rat, Jax was a convenient tool for taking the city's problems, tackling the city's problems. And then uh, uh, this didn't really make any difference, did it? So I didn't. Jax, known to many as the, the Beast of Arachon or the Outsider, would only go down in history as the Berserkers who ended the war against the Skyads. I almost felt grateful towards Jax for the fact that his fort was still standing after the war against Skyads. He was, however, worried about the manner monstrosities that would threaten his beloved headquarters from then on. This young berserker rose to the rank of warrior much faster than, than any before him. Nevertheless, he was known among berserkers for being unruly a fox among wolves. Fox. As a companion, he made unusual demands. Jack had experienced plenty of strange situations, but this time with Fox was still particularly challenging. Inspired by the extraordinary tragedy of Fox's family history, Jack resolved to help his companion solve his problems. Eventually, uh, Jack's managed to bring Fox's family back together. Fox would be would be uh, grateful for him, eternally grateful for him for that. Eternally grateful. Uh, Hangen, the castle, governor of Clarets Castle, and his uh, hands full keeping the Clarets going after they were all were driven out by the, by the, was it the heart, the hut or whatever. Hangen stood between two strongly opposed factions within the castle, but always wanted to, to the followers of faith and of science to reconcile their differences. Hangen heaped praise on Jax for his achievements in Massacan for saving humanity as fragile as it still was. A Berserker warlord and extraordinary leader, the highly talented in the art of war, Flag. Flag. Jax uh, couldn't have found anyone better to lead the Bastion of the Sixth Power. Bastion of the Sixth Power. He worked tirelessly to overcome the obstacles facing the Sixth Power and rarely met with defeat. He led the forces of Bastion and the allies into Morricon to battle the Skyand and their own land, an act of true heroism. 
at the end of the war, he was proud to be able to say that he and Jax achieved something truly great together. If you're not mistaken, I killed the people around and he just kind of stood there. He didn't really help, did he? Cleric Jurocation, who lived for his uh, work, his watchful eye, has constantly guarded the welfare of mankind and survival of the species. Uh, Reinhold. Reinhold. For him, the final great battle against the Sky Ant ended a particular dark chapter in human history. Once again, he found he dared to look to the future with confidence. Victor Hardet, another arse. This particularly brutal Morkan commander possessed incredible strength gained through a youth spent in the catacombs of Tombstone Town, whatever it was. He left a trail of death, ruining a scorched earth in a structured campaign across the land. You know, show me kicking his butt. I missed the end of the other bit, didn't I? Get in time. To him, it was as if Jack had taken down Skyard's army single handedly, a capacity of destruction perhaps I could only admire. And then he tried to kill me for it. And I beat the snout of him. Uh, Jack said safety humanity was something that they couldn't cut it down, however, and it caused the two to fight, and I beat the little snout of him. And won't let me kill him now. Duke of Aratus uh, had spent his life hound, hounded and attacked over the years. He became paranoid and retreated to the shadows. Oh, yeah, that lover arse, Baxter. This bandit chief installed a stooge as a governor in the upper district and then lived incognito in a hut in the lower district. He wasn't as overjoyed as most uh, at the end of the war against the Sky Arts, preoccupied as he was with making profit. Oh, without me stopping, he would have been killed, so whatever. Hector, a uh, former leader of the Thieves Guild, led the outlaws based in the crater on behalf of the Duke. The crater, okay. They didn't engage in history of violence, he only used for the safety of the people the crater was, was threatened. I must miss that one. <laughs> Hector's greatest worry after the end of the war was that he would never be able to leave his throne again. First elector of the Alps of Igadon, he roamed the lands of Marken as a scout, exploring and gathering strategic information on his eminence movements to stay one step ahead of them. Ikron. The true extent of his power remained a secret. No one dared get close enough to find out. Yeah, we fought a few times when he was walking around, didn't we? <laughs> Though he never fully supported Jack's decision in the war against the Skyads, he felt he had to acknowledge Jack's performance at Magoral. The tunnel of the abandoned city of Tarnsman's uh, tombstone uh, served the Morkon's headquarters as a temple of pain built of these religious fanatics in honour of their cruel god, the Grotto. Van Han kept Keeper of the balance and ruler of the grotto through torture and immediate whatever was happiest when he was past judgment. Watched suffering as many too fast. Even after the war, Bahan believed that the remaining Morkan forces would someday prevail over all other uh, peoples and stole fear in them. He had a scant praise for Jack's achievement even after the Battle of Morkan. On the contrary, the result displeased the discord leader. I didn't even speak to him. Archon was the governor of the Alps headquarters, uh, something and very whatever, there was little he could not achieve, did they thought? Meticulous, I guess. Archon was a prominent of the new directive and ordered the agents to fully enforce his modified Alp law. Archon's welcomed the end of the war as it allowed him to concentrate fully on the new directive, a mission that occupied all his efforts. Oh, we're done. Oh, here it is. It's the Dex talk. We need to talk about Dex. You can forget it. It was his choice. And you know how he gets once he's set on something. I know. Dex has incredible potential. He could soon be more powerful than either Are of us. Are you still alive? All right. I'll leave it at that. I trust your judgment. Whoa. I just hope you know what you're doing. Can I go in here quick? How's it going? Please, can't you see I'm still working? What if I can't give it to them anymore? You're the leader of the Berserkers of Tavar. Mm -hmm. Who could do a better job than Snuggling. you? 
And we're at 25 minutes, so unless there's any other quests, I think we're done. I suppose you're right about that. Well. So with that being said, let's save you and just check the quest, and this could be the last episode. I think we're done. 450 episodes, wow. Just that for some reason, I don't know why that's the so love. It's the only thing I've got and it doesn't disappear. Yeah, I think we're done. So we've ended with 73 levels. Obviously we could just go outside and push it to 70 if we wanted to, but 77 levels. I think it's a freedom for some reason, isn't it? Basically every ability that was possible, except for the one that wouldn't let me. Probably purely creative. And we have this unlimited now, which is pretty cool. And that's obviously looks a lot closer than it was before, it wasn't even that, was it? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed not only this episode but this series. The Helix 1 series, of course, this Helix 2 series. 450 episodes for Helix 2, can't remember how many for Helix 1. Obviously, uh, on the 4th of February, uh, basically 2024, finally finished this. Obviously, I'm not sure when I, when I edit and support this and schedule it's going up. Probably a long time after this. Like I said, I'm thinking August more likely, maybe September, I don't know. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. And put any comments you want. What do you think of the game Elix 2? What do you think of Elix 1? What do you think of the series? Watch more on the channel. As for this slot, more than likely, as you know right now, it's going up three times with Elix 2 and two for Starfield. Uh, I'm planning to start knocking out Starfields next. So, unless something changes when this goes up, more than likely it will be five Starfields from now on until Starfields finished. More than likely. And I say unless something changes. For example, if this hasn't finished yet or this episode has gone up and Squadron 42 happens to be out, I might decide to do Squadron 42. Or five secondary episodes. I might even put push it all five. Uh, I've, I've you know made my first slot episodes too, as well as Star Citizen's actual slots for a while, and then bring it back. But if Squad Forty Two isn't out, then you should be getting Starfield, unless some weird reason I have finished with Starfield time these finish, and even though they have only two episodes of time, and I'm like, hey, I'm actually finished with another game. So, like I said, fourth of February right now. Got a bunch of star fields to knock out, so I guess it depends where they they, 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 they they land. If they get to like 50 episodes of that, or 60, and anyway, the game's completed, I'm not going to play anymore. Maybe something else will be in the slot. We'll see. We'll see. Anyway, I've been Avatopia. You've been awesome. Thank you for watching. That's been Kaja. Say goodbye. Hopefully, we'll see you again when Elix Freak ever comes out. Hopefully, it comes out. I feel the left is wide open at this point. One kind of wrapped up with a little hint of a sequel. This one I think is wide open. And of course, I guess one last look at Nasty before we end. The one who originally was my character's pick for game one, but then the dev said the game two doesn't matter. So I ended up being with her for uh, Cajun. I just stuck with her this time around. So say bye, Nasty. Bye, everybody. Have a great, wonderful day, everyone. I've been happy to you. You've been awesome. Thank you once again. See you next time, everyone. Bye.